Today is rescue day. I am back at the Marion County Animal Services and they are the most full they have ever been. So um, we're here to help. Let's go. And today we have our director of operations, Kelly. Hello. Hey, hey guys, how you doing, Char? Oh. Yep. <laughs> that took 23 seconds. <laughs> oh my god. And, and how old? We think he's seven months. Oh my. Yeah, his name is Rook. I know he's gonna be a giant, I think. I'm pretty sure. Look at those paws. Uh, yeah. He's like, here, let me get your head for a second. Well, let me put you in a headlock. <laughs> She is the dog that needs that. Yeah. Yeah, she needs, Here. She needs. Like, I love this before, because then Here. the oh. after is always Here. of a dog that just is spinning like that. Exactly. Yeah, she needs to not be here because the kennel is not helping her at all. No. I mean, it's going to play or the, or the environment. Yeah. Her exactly. eyes are extremely captivating. Yeah. She has beautiful eyes. She's stunning. Yeah. She reminds me of myself, you know? I mm. like. Um, I was just going to say that. <laughs> yeah. She's like. Who's this? Sasha. Sasha. And she's stayed. So sometimes guys, when they try to run away, usually of course, like with my own pack, I'm gonna let them, but I, I kinda wanna see what she does. You know, I don't push it, but I kind of want to see what she does if she gets some resistance. Um, that's really awesome how she just gets like a little frustrated and lets it go, you know. She's not, she's no, no tension in her body at all. I know she wants to go, she can go. And I know I just made a video about this, I'm not sure if you've seen it, but I just want you guys to know you should not like put your face in a dog's face the way I do it. I'm just... If it's not smart, I just really, I give them kisses, I let them know that I, it's me telling them that I trust them. They don't have to trust me, but I trust them. But I would not recommend it. No one would ever recommend it. But I just can't help it. Yeah, she did really, she did really well with us as well. She's a good girl. Let's put her in the truck. She's <laughs> running around. cattle dog that's been here for a long time that they haven't had a chance to dog test because they're dealing with a kennel cough outbreak, which happens a lot at shelters. It's nobody's fault. As I walked by his kennel, 
I noticed that he was really calm. So I have a feeling he's good with other dogs, but we're gonna double check, and if he's good with other dogs, we're gonna take him home, because he's been here a long time. This is a dog that, before we adopt out, is gonna need a lot of training. He's a big boy, he's still growing, a lot of energy, really knows how to use his paws, as you saw, he almost put me in a headlock back there. This is a great dog for a sanctuary that can uh, get some training. I mean, he has huge paws. So look at that. There's some sibling rivalry. Sometimes siblings don't get along, so I wanted to see how their relationship would be. And now, Kelly, if you could point to the, the Belgian, you see? At this point, he knows that these two dogs are the priority. Really smart move to bring in the brother. 
really. I mean that genuinely. Yeah. Like, thank you. Um, the confidence has completely changed. You see? Yeah. Now they're chasing so him. Right. Right. And that's what I wanted to do. And that is a young, powerful puppy. This is why I wanted to bring the yeah. the brother because now yeah. look how confident yeah. they are now. And now what I would do is that's nice. I'm, yeah, you see, he's asking yeah. for forgiveness, yes. if you will. What I'm what I would do in this situation, guys, is now make him feel protected. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna let him know that I have it. And now look what happens when I do. He's saying, "Oh yeah, I've got you know I've got this. This guy has my back now." So it's about that equal that equal play. It's not about sides. Always protect the weak. This is for people, for everything. Protect the weak. Cash. Protect who needs the protection. All right, so now he comes to me for the protection, you see? Wait. Wait. Good boy. Oh. Good boy. <laughs> All right, this is great. This is really like what you want to get it to. And, and, and this is a good example, guys. You know, in the beginning, when people introduce a dog, and they see that kind of rambunctionness. They quit, they say it's not gonna work, we're not gonna get the dog, all these things. It takes a little bit of time, a little bit of strategy. Um, and this is really, this happened faster than I expected it to, but it is nice that it happened. That oh yeah, is, this is just normal dogs. This is just normal dogs, yeah. yeah. Brothers, and then it leaves. That's nice. Yeah. It was you, so funny. There. Yeah, it was so funny because I was walking out and I saw, I saw you stop. And I was like, the way he was responding to the dog, I think. Wait a minute. Like, yeah, you should probably come with us. You should probably come with us. <laughs> All right, guys. No. <laughs> you gotta, oh. We are headed back. We are going home. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. I love you. I Thank love you, you very much. This was super fun. Thank you, Marion County Animal Services. We love you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Let's You're go. sitting up yeah, front. Congratulations. You, you've made it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. There was a lot of good stuff in some of those videos besides just the rescue. I hope that you guys really watch how that the meet and greet went with the three dogs, first the two, because there's some good takeaways there. I love you, have a beautiful day. Come on guys.